What up, party people? This is Sarah for No Matter Whatever. Um, I'm going to do more of a less lifestyle video, more van-related video today. I've had a lot of questions on the showering situation. And I just got done deep cleaning, and I went to a concert last night, so I'm a greaseball. Prime opportunity to make this video, but um, I'll show you the steps. If you are full-time living in a van, you need to take, at least my kind of van, um, to be able to shower in it. So, let's go! First off, I'll kind of give you like a perception. The stove, the bathroom, kind of the size of it. Um, so I keep my combat boots on the side of the toilet. Because they're pretty tall for my shoe cubby. But um, got the curtain. And then uh, this is my shower caddy. It's actually a beer holder. I think I've showed that before. But in the storage for the bathroom. I go to take a shower course, take out the TP. I've made that mistake more than once. Um, here's, that's my, this is also my closet. And, um, so, and then shower head, towels back there. And then this is where your shower curtain would go. But, um, I find it easier actually. I personally find it easier to just not have the shower curtain and it's such a small space. Like, the curtain for me seems like it would be really annoying, like more of a hassle and then um, you get in the way of me getting my clothes every day. So I just like have sham wows and I take a shower and if it gets like on the floor or by the toilet, I just wipe it up when I'm done. It's not really that much extra work. But um, so I guess I could just switch it around, but you can kind of tell I have to take all my clothes and you do have to take your clothes out every time or else if you have less clothes than me, I do have a lot of clothes. I have my whole closet, like you can see, full of clothes. And then, whoa, like double mirror action. But, um, and then I have the clothes that I keep in the shower. So, you gotta clean it up, get all the clothes out of there. That's step one. And numero dos, um, go under here, at least in mine, to the, um, under the sink, and that is the water heater, and you turn it on. I did some dishes earlier, so hopefully it will still be pretty warm. Those are my dishes. But, um, also, you gotta keep in mind, uh, your water tank, like, I clean that up not but doo -doo 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 -doo. But, um, I'm a little less than halfway, so the shower, I mean, if I want a luxurious shower, then it's going to take probably, I don't know, a, a third of that. Um, or if I need water for the rest of the week, it depends on your schedule, then that's kind of stuff you have to time out. So when you are living in a van, you do, um, you need to make time for things. Like, I mean, I, um, I work the next three days, so I don't want to go dump my tanks because I work, um morning till like late afternoon and it's closed I can't so I um I probably should sometimes when I shower I'll just try to go to a friend's house and then um shower there or a family member like if I'm low on water like this but I just uh I'm reading and doing my own thing and I just want to get it done with here so I'm probably just gonna do like a quick hair wash and all that but um so the water's heating up right now I'll let that heat up and then I'll come back Deep Space Nine. I'm just kidding. It's just the shower head. It kind of looked spaceshipy up close. But um, I did want to explain without the water on because I don't want to waste my water. But um, there are things you can get installed. Water savers for your shower head. This one does use a lot of water, but it's also pretty nice. Um, it's got the hose on it. And then what I'd also like to explain is the hot and cold water. Like um, Normally at home, you can like, or at least places I've lived in, turn it on mostly hot, 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 and a little bit of cold, and that's sufficient. Like, it feels the right temperature. This, like, I don't know if you can, I can hear it, probably not in the phone, but, um, there's actually, like, a flame making your water hot. Like, I can hear it, it goes off, and it's, uh, at least that's what I think is happening. Science. But, um, no, I mean, the water gets scalding hot if you let it get hot too long, and the cold kind of jumps in, but it's kind of like, um, I find... I find timing the amount of time you let your hot water get warm, almost like a tea kettle on a stove, 
and using it then, like using it quicker rather than trying to mix the hot and cold water for my van personally and for me personally, that works better. Tip of the day. All right, ducks, let's test it out. I just want to show you guys how cool it is that when your hair is purple, your water is always awesome and magical. Okay, so that's kind of that. Um, any tips I can think of is, um, ladies, it is easier to wash your hair outside of the shower and lean over, like if you're going to do it on the side of the bathtub or in a sink, and then get in the shower and wash your body, because standing up and using the shower, at least for me, I spray it everywhere. Um... The smaller your booty is, the easier it is to shower in a van. I will give you that. Um, uh, what else? And as far as vans go, I am totally, like, spoiled rotten. Like, I get to take a warm shower and, with, like, you saw the shower head. It's, like, legit. So, um, yeah. not There is some extra steps. You gotta heat the water. You gotta move anything in the way. Um, I always make sure to wipe down the shower just because it's such a small space. It gets muggy a lot quicker. I don't like anything. Like, I like to dry it all down. Um, yeah. So, that's a relatively quick shower video. Ding! So, uh, yeah, hopefully that answered any questions anyone had. Thanks for watching. This is Sarah for No Matter Whatever. Take it sleazy. Bye!